How's it going YouTube? My name is Ari and for those of you brand new to the Blue Lion Finance channel, this channel is all about investing in my personal journey to amassing $100,000 within my Vanguard brokerage account. Now what do you know with the entire stock market being in a state of flux with all of this fear and uncertainty, it is creating a ton of volatility and my account is actually down from my last video by $1,517.77 and currently sitting at $84,233.03 on the day. So I wanna get right into it and talking about this macro level overview, how exactly we got here and arrived at this point of almost seemingly no return from this volatility and then go right into talking about five high value dividend investments that are currently discounted and most importantly investments that you can just buy and hold which is the go-to strategy for the long-term value investor. Now before we dive in, tap on that thumbs up button and help me grow this channel. And of course, if you haven't done so by this point in time, make your way up to subscribing to the channel I'd certainly love to have each and every one of you on this journey with me. Now, YouTube, let's go ahead and dive right in. Okay, so there's a lot to unpack here, and I'm going to try to go quickly through it all, but also at the same token, want you to get a good understanding of how exactly we got here. And no, not my apartment here. I'm talking about within the market, all this volatility, the momentum, the fear, the uncertainties, and then the momentum again, and then that cycle repeats itself. So let's just break down how exactly this all came about. And going back a few years to early 2020, things were great. That was very short-lived. And then what ultimately happened is the Federal Reserve put on their hero cape. They flew in, they lowered the interest rates, which did wonders for the market and all the activity that came about from it. And then on top of that, they even went as far as printing a heck ton of money for all of us. Now, I don't know about you, but anytime I get free money from the government, I'm more than willing to accept that paycheck. And of course, that's known as the stimulus, which we all applauded, but eventually that was going to have to come to an end. And during that time, what we ended up experiencing was labor shortages, supply chain disruptions, and of course, excessive levels of demand, which we could not fulfill. And now here we are with crazy, crazy high inflation, which now leads us to today, which we're all on our toes for because the Federal Reserve is once again needing to put that hero cape on, and they're going to start to become more aggressive in raising those interest rates. Now, ultimately, this could be the straw that breaks the camel's back. And if the Federal Reserve comes in to raise those interest rates too quickly, too aggressively, or any which level at which we don't necessarily agree with, the market is not going to respond well we're going to get a ton of volatility that's exactly what we're seeing right now so what does the investor do well you take that long-term value investor approach because and just taking a look at say the s p 500 over the last year we can see it just rose by about 14.5 percent and even more importantly going back in about five years we can see that it doubled itself now that's across composites we can take a look at the nasdaq which the exact same results came about we can even go to the dow jones the exact same results happen there too so again pays off to be the long-term value investor which now leads me to the five dividend stocks that you can get invested into today that are certainly discounted. That's all you're gonna have to do is invest into these companies, kick back, relax, not only collect on the dividends, but the value of the stock just continuing to rise over time, which leads me now to the very first company I wanna talk about, which is 3M, ticker symbol MMM. 3M was founded back in 1902 and has since its founding just done an outstanding job and not only becoming an industry leader in its own right, but a dividend powerhouse with 63 consecutive years worth of dividend payments and increases, making it a dividend king. Now, when it comes to 3M, it's most important to understand the amount of reliability that's being delivered to investing in this type of investment simply because of what they do in operating across industry verticals, delivering through on indispensable products, anything from electrical components, hardware, cleaning supply, office supplies, I mean, you name it, it is probably underneath the 3M belt. Now, amidst all the market mayhem and market volatility, 3M by no means was an exception to the rule. It certainly took a little bit of a hit here falling from around $181 a share down to around $172 per share, only about a 4.5% discount opportunity. But look, a discount is a discount. Picking up 3M while it is discounted is a solid move just considering the fact that their products as well as their business model just an absolute necessity. Not 
going to be disappearing anytime soon. Purely a value play that you can invest into over time and just expect it to continue to perform. That's exactly what analysts are expecting as well with their median expectations coming in at $189 per share and a high stock share price of $254 per share. Now, as mentioned, as a dividend player, 3M is just absolutely crushing it with a dividend yield coming in at 3.32%. Next up, we have another dividend king. This company has been paying dividends out for 59 consecutive years and is an absolute juggernaut within its industry, that industry being healthcare and this company being Johnson & Johnson, ticker symbol J&J. &J. Now, if you've been following along on my journey thus far, I talk about Johnson & Johnson a lot and that is because this company is a pure value play with a whole heck ton to offer all of us as value investors. Now, in more recent news, Johnson & Johnson came out to announce they're gonna be splitting the company apart. The pharmaceutical sector Segment, medical device segment are going to remain underneath the Johnson & Johnson name. They're going to be pushing out the consumer goods segment into its own business. Fantastic news for the Johnson & Johnson investor because the consumer goods segment was only bringing in roughly 20% worth of Johnson & Johnson's revenue. However, a fair share amount of the negative press that came in was all due from the consumer goods segment in and of itself. So with that segment being gone and a focus on medical devices and pharmaceuticals, it is going to become an absolute powerhouse in my opinion. And in the more recent news, it's been a bit of a stagnating stock, I think because it's really just been trying to keep up with Moderna and Pfizer in terms of the vaccine and the boosters, but it hasn't really been doing the greatest of job. And of course, now here we are with the stock actually falling from around $174 a share down to around $164 per share, about a 5.7% discount opportunity for us to pick up Johnson & Johnson while it's on sale. Now looking into Johnson & Johnson's future, here's where it gets exciting because right now they have two top line medicines that are out there. We have Stellar and Darzalex, which are of course absolutely killing it, but we also have 58 medicines that are currently in late stages of hitting the market. So that is what we need to keep our eyes on because that's what the future is gonna to bring to the table, making analysts most excited and delivering through on a median expectation of a share price at $180 per share and a high stock share price at $215 per share. Again, as dividend investors were focused on Johnson & Johnson's dividend. And as of right now, they have a dividend yield sitting at 2.55%. Moving right along to our third stock opportunity of the day, we have a globally below of fast food chain. This company is McDonald's, ticker symbol MCD. It was founded back in 1940. And as you all know, McDonald's has just established itself as a fast food chain industry leader. It is a pure value play that you can invest into now and just literally hold on to for the long run. Most importantly is understanding that their stock has actually taken a hit as they battle wage inflation. They've been reducing hours of operation just considering the fact that they're looking to cut costs across the board. So their stock share price has taken a hit falling for around 200 $70 a share down to around $254 a share. Nearly a 6% discount opportunity for a stock that's hardly ever going on sale because of the amount of value behind its name. Now, it's looking right into McDonald's future. They've been changing up their menu as they entered a partnership with Beyond Meat. So we're gonna get that McPlant menu option that's gonna appear on their menu. A lot of investors are excited about the menu change and of course the modernization of all of their locations is just bringing analyst expectations higher and higher. Coming in at a median stock share price at two $280.95 a share and a high stock share price at $306 per share. But best yet is McDonald's dividend because it's not only incredibly reliable as a dividend aristocrat with 44 consecutive years worth of dividend payments and payouts, but a very solid dividend yield sitting at 2.16%. Next up, we have one of the largest home improvement retailers within the United States. This company is Lowe's, ticker symbol L-O-W. Now Lowe's has certainly made a name for itself rather recently as it's been continuously going head to head with Home Depot, fighting for that number one go-to home improvement retailer within the United States. And I have to say, as of 2020, they made a business strategy pivot in which they wanted to become the everything store, all things inclusive for home improvement projects, because that is what 2020 called for. And since they made that pivot, their stock actually soared to new record highs at $260 a share. However, battling inflation as of recently, they've come down to around $225 a share. That's about a 13.5% discount opportunity for all of us to take advantage of. But of course, with each and every new variant and work from home just becoming more of the norm, we can easily just foresee that DIY projects are going to continue to explode and become more popularized, which I believe is just going to continue to help low stock continue to shine. That's exactly how analysts are thinking as well with analyst expectations coming in at a median stock share price of $284.50 and a high stock share price sitting at $300 a share. Now, most importantly, as a dividend investor, we're capitalizing on a dividend king with a company that's been paying out dividends and increasing those dividends for 50 
59 consecutive years and a current dividend yield sitting at 1.36%. Last but not least, we have the best bargain deal that's on the table today. It is coming from a financial play that is T-Row Price Group, ticker symbol T-R-O-W. It's an absolute powerhouse of a dividend player as well with 34 consecutive years worth of dividend payments and payouts. We'll get to that in a second. T-Row Price was founded back in 1937 and since then they've primarily just focused on funds, account services, account management, retirement planning for institutions and individuals. And as of recently, their stock share price slid just along with all the other financial plays out there coming down from around $200 a share down to around $159 a share. That's about a 20.5% discount opportunity for all of us to pick up one heck of a financial industry leader. Now, when it comes to T. Rowe Price Group's future, we have analyst expectations not only saying that they're going to rebound right back to $200 per share and even then some coming up to a record high here at $240 per share. Now, until it gets to those sky high prices, we're just going to kick back and collect on T. Rowe Price's dividend at a current dividend yield of 2.6%. 62%. Hey YouTube, that is it. Those are the five dividend investments that I'm certainly recommending each and every one of you look into for this week. They are all certainly delivering through on a ton of value that you can just simply invest into and hold on to for the long run. If you like what you heard, you learned something new, drop those comments below. Let me know your thoughts on each one of these dividend investments. If you have them in your portfolio, if you're thinking about investing in them, and of course, before we close out, tap on that thumbs up button and help me grow this channel. And if you haven't done so by this point, go ahead, make your way up to actually subscribing to the channel. Channel. It would certainly be wonderful to have you on this journey with me. Now, YouTube, until the next video, I look forward to seeing you all there.